Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video I want to talk about kind of the new wave or the reboot of Rainbow High. I've kind of mentioned this like in passing in other videos like with my Sunny and Luna twin pack and I think in my Mina doll review I kind of like shared a few comments about it um how I was feeling and everything but now I've had time to like really see photos of the dolls and recently I was able to watch some of the new episodes. It kind of got leaked. So I was able to see some of those videos. So I feel like now is a good time to like share like my full opinions. I've had time to really look at the dolls, watch reviews of the dolls. Um, I've seen some in stores now myself. And yeah, and with watching the new series, I feel like I've collected enough data <laughs> um, to like talk about it and like fully share my opinions. I feel like I'm pretty I'm I know where I stand in everything now. Also, if I sound a little odd, I'm feeling a little under the weather. So apologies for that. But let's go ahead and get straight into it. So for stars, I kind of wanted to give my history with Rainbow High. Uh, so I've been collecting them for a while. They're actually the doll brand that got me started to collect dolls. And I've been collecting them since literally the beginning of 2021 um you can see them on display here like this is like my full collection it goes all the way up there um i like i've been a fan of rainbow high uh basically since like mid 2020 and then i just started to collect them and yeah i've been a fan um i've been there since like they had shiny faces and watched them as you know they've grown since then um and i've kind of shared my sentiment is that I'm pretty sad about like the direction Rainbow High is going and my opinion has shifted a bit. I'm still like, I'm not like all about the reboot. I'm not super excited or anything, but I, I feel like I have, I feel better about it, I guess. I don't know. Um, but as an overall, um, cause I want to talk about each doll individually in the new series. Um, but overall, I'd like to say that like, They've made some changes. It's definitely for a younger demographic. Um, I don't really have interest in slime or pets. Um, I love the two outfits, but it seems like that's no longer a thing. And also the makeup has been toned down. And one of the things I loved is how big the makeup was. Um, that's one of the things that drew me into the line. And then the glitter faces, I'm not a fan of. Um, when I first started collecting, I thought the shiny faces were cool uh, and interesting, but I was quickly kind of done with it. And luckily they switched to matte faces almost immediately after. So that was amazing. Like I love the matte faces. And they seem to have these glitter faces, which I was hoping was just for this line. Like if they release new dolls, the glitter faces would be gone. But since I've been able to watch the series, it seems like the glitter faces is like a part of the brand now. Um, so now I first want to talk about being able to watch the show. Um, I don't know if it's still going to be up. It seems like anytime it get anytime it gets posted, uh, MGA quickly copyrights it, which I get. But there's been some YouTube channels that have been sharing the kind of the first three episodes. There may have been more and I missed it, but I've seen the first three episodes of the new season, um, kind of going into this Rainbow World, leaving behind Rainbow High. And when we were getting like, kind of like snippets or pieces, I was like, this makes no sense. I'm not about it. Like what in the world is going on? Um, and I was someone who kind of, like I watched this show, but I wasn't invested by any means. I enjoyed season one. I thought season two had some potential bring in new characters, but then it kind of lost the plot. And I think I talked about this in my Rainbow Vision review way back when, um, when I reviewed the whole line of Rainbow Vision, I talked about like, the dolls were great, but the series was kind of all over the place. Um, I said back then, and I still stand by this, that I think it was too many characters. Um, I love, one of my things I loved about Rainbow High was introducing a character for each color. Like, I love that with the dolls. But as far as the show, as soon as it started, like, trying to focus on characters outside of, like, the, like, main six characters, or I guess seven because of Maya. Um, as soon as they started, well, is it eight of them? Because there's Ruby, Ruby, Sunny, Skylar, Jade, Violet, Bella, and Amaya. So I guess the main seven. As soon as they get like the plot away from the main seven, the story kind of fell apart. And it's because they were trying to tell too many stories. So like nothing, nothing. So there was, it was never like deep enough 
to go into like each character to like connect with and then even from the main seven at times it felt like certain characters had no storyline like for example I, poppy never really got much screen time in my opinion so i was saying that like I think it's cool to have all these characters. And I know a lot of people wanted like, oh my gosh, I want to see, you know, Blank be a big deal. Or like TR song, like when the doll's out, like, I want to see her in the show. And like, as these characters came out, people picked up favorites and they wanted to see their favorite in the show. But in my opinion, I was like, I think they should all just be background characters. Um, I don't think they should focus too much on any of them. And they should focus on like the main seven because that's already a big cast. Um, but I was like, you're gonna lose the story, it's gonna get confusing, and I think all the rest, like, they can be cool, interesting characters, but kind of, like, just background. Like, before Cheryl got her reboot, or kind of how they've kept Cheryl, I think that's as much into the spotlight as all the back char background characters should be. Um, I think a good example of this is, uh, like, Monster High did it pretty well. I've never watched the show intensely, or any of the movies or anything like that, but from what I can gather... Um, it's like the main group of like girls who are the main characters and other characters will come in and they'll be in the spotlight for a second But then they go away and then they're they'll show up in the background every once in a while, but it's really like these main characters that like uh, Go through the storyline and that's how like it was able to have a storyline and people were able to connect with the characters So I was like I feel like that's what Rainbow High is gonna have to do if they want like the show to actually be good like if you want to be able to follow it. Now, the, the main couple, like they aren't exactly my favorites. Like Gabriella is one of my favorites, um, doll and character. Um, I love Robin. I Like you guys know, I'm obsessed with Jewel. So like not, some of my favorite characters are in the background, but I think if the show's gonna be good, you need to have them kind of in the background. Like you can't give every single character, especially with how many they've introduced. Like if you gave all of them each their own episode, then you only have like one episode of content for each doll and you can't, you know what I mean? I don't know if that's making sense, but like to me, if the show is gonna do well, they need to stop focusing, focusing so much on these extra characters and kind of stick to the main couple in order to follow a storyline. So when this Rainbow Vision thing came out and it's like the website, it took off all of the characters and it seemed like they were really focusing on these characters, I, um, I know a lot of people were upset. I mean, I think it's sad that they kind of like threw away all the characters like off the website. I'm hoping they, a lot of these characters like make returns and stuff. I think that'd be interesting. Or we see their like rainbow world variant of them. I'm not sure. But I do think it was smart on the brand to start focusing on like the main characters. And they kind of brought in this world almost as a way to like push all the others out of the way so it's like okay we need to refocus and so I do kind of get that and I'm not mad at it because like I said if the show is going to be good I think that's what they have to do I can still love Gabriella even if she doesn't show up in the show you know uh but then I watched I didn't know where the show was going to go with this whole fantasy thing and pets and all that stuff I was quite I was interested to see what they were going to do and with it Honestly, okay, so I in the past have watched a lot of the My Little Pony, was it G4 or G5? The one with like uh, Friendship is Magic, whichever generation that was. Um, I watched quite a bit of that. And in one of the later seasons, they have this plot line where like there's this like map and it calls on specific characters to go to like two characters to go to this specific place because their traits will help out the situation um and it's like to fix friendship in the land and blah 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 and i feel like rainbow high saw that plot and they were like we like that because the new season of rainbow high is almost exactly that um the main seven are brought into this new world they have these pets which the pets are their portal keys and they give them slime in order to like power them up and then it opens portals so they can go to these places where they need to fix uh friendship and stuff like that basically like it really is kind of the same plot line just add in pets that make portals and the characters are called shimmers so it's kind of like their magical girl name there's no transformations or anything but it's kind of got some like magical girl elements to it so they're shimmers their pets are their portal keys 
and they use slime to charge up their portal keys in order to get to these places to fix friendship and restore Rainbow World to its colorful blah blah blah. So I honestly, so at first I was like, this is hardcore ripping off um, the My Little Pony, like that kind of season. I didn't even finish that season, but like that was kind of the vibe. I don't know if that's how that season continued, but it really reminded me of My Little Pony. And I'm sure there's a magical girl show that My Little Pony ripped off from. Like I wouldn't be surprised at all. It has that kind of like magical girl, like stereotypical kind of setup feel. Uh, but I'm not mad at it, honestly, because I feel like they're focusing in on the characters again. Um, they're giving them personality and it gives like room to attach to the characters again. And I honestly enjoyed just seeing like the original characters like interact and stuff again without like them, the show feeling like it needs to like focus on every single doll released. So it's, everybody connects to a doll. It was more like, here's the characters and here's the personalities and here's how they do things. Um, they even brought Bella, which is great. I'm a fan of Bella. And they even brought back her kind of like rule breaking tendency. I mean, if you haven't seen the show, again, I'll link it down at the bottom. I don't know if it's still going to be up on YouTube. Um, if there's no link, it's because it's already gone. But um, I'll have it linked. Um, if you want to see, I just, people keep getting it taken down, then they'll re-upload, take down, re-upload. Um, I would just type in Rainbow High Season 5 and maybe it'll come up. But like, Bella even goes back to breaking rules and breaks a rule. And then like, there's a lot more music involved now, which again, makes me feel much more into the like My Little Pony reference. Like their songs, but I'm not mad at the songs. They're pretty good. Like they're a little catchy and they're short and simple. So I think the show is actually getting better um, with this like new story where it's focusing more on the characters. I think the show is actually going to become stronger, especially from the last couple seasons. It's been just too much going on and it's just kind of been a mess, especially the la like the Project Rainbow. I didn't enjoy at all. And then Rainbow Vision was okay. But the first two seasons I thought were really good. And it's because it was focusing almost specifically on the main characters. But yeah, so this new season, I think it's a good thing um, for the show. But for the dolls, that's a different conversation. So now I kind of want to get into like each of the dolls, how I feel about them and everything. So I guess we can jump into that. All right, so we're basically gonna go by the rainbow and I'm gonna start off with Ruby Anderson. I'll put a photo of her up somewhere, um, how her doll looks. So I don't know if I've ever shared this on the channel, but I am a Ruby Anderson stan. I love Ruby, I love her style, like the hats, the tomboy, the like the flannels, everything. Like I love Ruby. She was um, one of my original favorites from series one. Well, not one of my original favorites. I'd say she was my favorite from series one. She was not the first doll I got, surprisingly, but that's a whole different story. So I love Ruby. I'm a big fan of her and this new doll. So um, I think, unfortunately, I think the Rainbow High dolls, the new slime Rainbow High dolls, the ones that stand out, are the ones that like have a bigger deviation from their original style instead of just like a refresh of their design. Um, Ruby, she's one of the ones that has almost an exact refresh of her original design. And I like her original better. And that's just like the unfortunate part because like with it being so similar, you're gonna compare. So looking at her, like I think her crimped hair is cute. I like the crimped hair. Um, her makeup is cute enough. It's not as big and bold as her original doll. And then, yeah. So if I got Ruby, it'd be because I'm a fan of Ruby. That'd be the only reason. Uh, but I don't think, I think she suffers from just being too similar to her original doll, but not better than her original doll. Um, her pet is a fox, which I love. Foxes are one of my favorite animals. Uh, so I do love that like my favorite character has one of my favorite animals. That's kind of cool. But yeah, as far as when it comes to Ruby, she's just kind of like a downgraded version of her original doll, which is, you know, fine. She represents the new brand, but I think they could have like been more creative with her. The next one we're going to talk about is Sunny. And Sunny 
is kind of similar to how I feel about Ruby. So um, she is kind of just a refresh of her original design. And the only difference with her is, is that I don't have the original Sunny. Um, I don't know if I ever will now. Um, cause now I have, you can slightly see her like right up there. Uh, I have the twin pack Sunny, which I think is the superior Sunny. So if I ever do manage to come across like a good series one Sunny, I will grab her immediately, but I don't feel like the need to hunt her down at the moment. Maybe that'll change in the future. Uh, but the slime Sunny is kind of like a refresh of that. She's really cute. Um, again, I don't know if she's better than her series one counterpart, but I do love like that she has the baby hairs. I do love her hairstyle. I don't like how much tinsel she has, but with the way they styled her hair, it's not horrible in my opinion. Uh, and then her pet is the little bear. Um, what I do love is I love her socks. Her dress is almost exactly the same. Her jacket's kind of cute. Like she's cute, but a lot of the sunnies I've seen have like an insane amount of glitter or maybe it just shows up more with her skin tone. Um, so I'm not a fan of the glitter but her makeup is cute she she's probably one of the cuter ones in the refresh um in my opinion she's a really cute doll so like i could see myself getting her i don't plan to get her in this moment but i could see myself getting her eventually uh and yeah i guess that's kind of all i have to say about sunny so the next doll i have is to talk about is jade and in general uh, with jade i'd say she's not like one of my like top rainbow high dolls but i actually do have two jades you can kind of see her right there is that her right there yeah my two jades are right there um i have series one jade i also have winter break jade that i've customized just a little bit and then with this jade this is what i mean by refreshing in a good way so this does not look like any of the past jades the outfit is different um and also she looks i don't know she looks pretty good like i think she's cute um i like her shirt her skirt is cute enough her shoes they're just like with the shoes honestly like the original rainbow high dolls came with multiple pairs of shoes so if i ever got one of these i probably would just trade it out for like extra pairs of shoes i have from that character already but i think she's nice her hair's in a different style her tinsel doesn't look as intense as some of the other ones maybe it is um, but from what I've seen in videos and stuff, her uh, her tinsel doesn't seem as, like, intense. So, she's cute. She has, like, the green, like, again, the muted makeup. I'm more a fan of, like, the big makeup. But the muted makeup isn't too bad. And I think she's cute enough. So, I could see myself getting the jade. Just because I do really like her, like, netted top. I think that's really cute. Oh, yeah, and she comes with a monkey as her pet. Uh, but I still don't feel like Jade is such a, like, um, as a character, she's very, like, intense and everything. So, like, seeing her all cutesy is interesting, but I also don't have any Jades that kind of reflect that vibe. So, like, maybe I could get Jade. I was debating getting her at one point, but maybe. Not sure. We'll see. So, next up is Skylar, and Skylar is one that is really interesting to me. Uh, so I do not like her skirt. Um, I, but I do think she has some of the more intense makeup from the new Slime series dolls. Um, by the way, if you ever see me looking down here, it's because I like have the photos pulled up and I just like want to talk about it. Um, I like her little clear vinyl jacket. It seems like from videos I've seen, she can move pretty well in it. It's not like a Maya, like the hair play doll. It's not as bad as that, but she does seem you know, cute, and I'm not, like, against it, but I don't think I'll go for her because I'm not a huge Skylar fan. Even my Skylar I do have, she's right here, my Series 1 Skylar, and I've had her redressed. I don't know. She's, she's cute, but I just don't see myself going for her, and I think her pet is a sloth. I think. I'm not sure, but I think it's a sloth. Uh, but yeah, for Skylar, it's just okay. So, the last doll, well, this isn't the last doll because we still have Amaya. So the next doll is Violet. Um, Violet is another one where I actually think she's cute. I've seen a lot of people like hating her dress because it just has like random sequins and stuff on it. But I'm not mad at it, I guess. Um, I like how they did her hair. It looks uh, pretty good. Um, I know she has that metal metallic nylon, which is 
really rough to deal with. Like, I have my two violets right here. The Winter Break Violet I love, and the hair was done by someone else. I bought her from another collector. And then the original Series 1 Violet I have, uh, her hair is impossible to mess with. Like, I, it's so difficult. So, she's cute, but, like, I think the only thing that would hold me back is the fact that she has, like, I know what her hair, like, is so I wouldn't want to even mess with that but I think she's actually one of the cuter ones from this rebrand her pet is a poodle which I think I guess is pretty fitting for Violet but yeah I think she's cute um also while we're here I can also talk about the Violet swim doll her face is stunning I don't know if that's like from if she was designed before the well no because I have a fit photo of her box right here it seems like she's part of the uh, kind of like rebrand as well. I think her face on the swim doll is stunning. So if I were to get like another violet, I would probably get that one. I would definitely have to do a body swap because the articulation on the swim doll is tragic. But I think that violet swim doll is so beautiful. Um, but yeah, so for violet, I probably won't, don't really have an interest in getting her as a uh, as the slime doll. So the next doll and the last doll that we have is the Amaya doll. And I think this doll is by far unanimously, she is the worst doll in this series. So I know a lot of, there's like a whole Amaya hate club. I don't hate Amaya, especially white haired Amaya. I'm a big fan of white haired Amaya. Um, I think her runway doll was really pretty, but the way they did this doll is just, there's nothing I like at all about this doll. Like maybe the denim jacket is kind of cute, I guess, I don't know. But the way they did the hair, the way they did like this dress, there's just nothing good about this doll. This Amaya is so bad. The makeup is literally again, minimal. So like that's not even a savior, it's just, I don't like anything about this doll. I think she is so badly done. Um, like very, very badly done. And it seems, I'm guessing she must be popular with children because um, Amaya seems to be one they always include. Um, I know adult collectors are not a fan of Amaya in general, typically, but it seems, I'm guessing she has to be really popular with children. And then another one that I think is really popular with children, but not with adult collectors is Violet because They've made so many Violets, like Costume Ball and uh, The Swim Doll, and she's always in the main series lines. So yeah, she, Amaya's just bad. She's just bad, bad. And it's unfortunate because I, again, this is a white haired Amaya, so I think she had a lot of potential, but I just do not like the direction they went. Oh, and she has a unicorn as her pet, which sure, why not? So now I wanna talk about the two characters that did not get dolls in this original series, uh, this original series, that did not get dolls in the reboot. But in the season five, we were able to see both of these characters and both of their outfits and everything. Um, and so I'll put photos of them up. First off is Poppy. So when Poppy wasn't leaked to be part of this slime doll line, I know people went absolutely insane. They were like, oh no, they killed off Poppy. They dropped Poppy. Poppy's not interesting, da 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 And to me, I thought it was, I mean, if it's your favorite character, you know, go off. You have your feelings, express yourself, you know? But to me, I was like, I thought it was very much an overreaction. I was like, this is literally just um, the first time they're doing the dolls. Like, even in uh, season one of Rainbow High, they had Bella there from day one, but Bella's doll was part of series two. So to me, I was like, I'm sure Poppy is gonna be showing back up. Like I had no doubt. I thought people were just expressing themselves, I guess. Um, and lo and behold, here she is. Poppy's a part of the season. I'm sure she'll get a doll eventually, um, as well as Bella. Uh, so here we have Poppy. Um, she's pretty cute. Um, what also I thought was interesting is Bella and Poppy both had braids in their hair um, as part of their design, and they're also the two that didn't get dolls. I doubt it's related, but I thought it was interesting. So her outfit's cute enough. She has like these kind of like 
billowy sheer sleeves and then a little dress with like printed on uh, metallic butterflies. I think it's fine. It's cute. Um, the hairstyle's nice. And her pet was a cat, I believe. So I think she's cute. But again, even if she was a doll, I probably wouldn't be screaming and jumping and going for it. I think it's interesting she has orange lipstick. But I feel like her as a doll still wouldn't interest me terribly much. Um, I think some of the other poppies in the past release, like Winter Break Poppy or the Runway Poppy, like those are going to be far superior. So if there's a poppy I wanted to collect, I'd go for those. But yeah, she's cute and she's here. She's not dead. Woohoo. So the last character I want to talk about is Bella. And for me, if Bella is in like a tweed Chanel reference, then it's a win for me. And I think this Bella is so stunning. She's so cute. Um, again, I'm just a, I'm a Bella stan. Like I just love her style. Um, also, we can see her purse here. I do hate her purse. Her purse looks gross. But I really like Bella's design. I think it's nice. Um, it's kind of just her normal hair and braids. And then, of course, the glitter head, which I don't love. But um, her pet is a little lamb. Sure. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. If they had released Bella, I probably would have got Bella. Like, I would have probably already own Bella. And I just say that as just someone who is a Bella fan. I have, I believe I have every Bella released. Um, I have Series 1 Bella, Costume Ball Bella, Pacific Coast Bella. I think that's all the Bellas, right? I believe so. Um, I don't know. Bella just speaks to me. She Her fashion is usually a win. And if they had produced this fashion, it probably would have been one of my favorite outfits. It is very similar to her Series 1, but it's still different enough for me to have justified buying her. Uh, but yeah, I think Bella is super cute. I hope she does get a doll eventually. I mean, we have seen the leaks of like the... I don't even know what to call those dolls. They're like winter puffy dolls. Um, I'm not going to put up any photos, but I feel like you could, if you looked up like Rainbow High Bella Winter Leak or something like that, I'm not sure, but I've seen some leaks. Uh, oh, you can also see it on Instagram. I believe with the account is Ashton Silverstone. Um, so you can see them there. It's interesting. Um, I, you really can't see the pics are kind of blurred that they've released. So we do know a Bella doll is coming. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm definitely going to wait until, like, I've seen some, like, reviews or, like, in-person photos and stuff of it. But, yeah, Bella's here. I'm glad she's here. I'm glad to see she's going to be getting dolls. Um, they might interest me. Um, but, yeah, I think Bella's really cute. And if this doll was made, I would buy her. So, where I sit overall um, with this, like, whole Rainbow High slime reboot situation going on, uh, these dolls, I don't think we've lost necessarily who the dolls are. I think they're focusing in on characters and stuff. So story-wise, I think it's a good thing. Um, as far as the dolls, it can be like a hit or a miss for me. Um, I think I'm, there's the possibility of me still collecting this new generation of Rainbow High is what I'm going to say. Um, the potential is there. There's none that I'm like rushing to grab my money and run to the store for at the moment. But I think there is potential to still be interested in collecting this new generation. Uh, I still don't like the new articulation. Like losing wrist articulation makes no sense to me. Um, I hope that's something they do change in the future. Um, I hope they do return to matte faces. I hope we eventually lose this whole glitter face. Like maybe it's just this release, that'd be great. Uh, but yeah, there's still potential of me collecting these new Rainbow High dolls which has me hopeful. I definitely hope to see um, some of these dolls speak to me because I don't want to be done collecting Rainbow High. I obviously really care about them. Um, they mean a lot to me. And like sentimental as well as just like, it's where it started. I don't want to see the brand die. Um, even though a lot of people are claiming the brand is done, it's obvious that like the MGA is still trying to push them. So I don't know where it's going to head. Could the quality be getting worse and worse? Yeah, maybe. But for me, I think the potential is still there. Like, I think, uh, and with some of the leaks we've seen of, like, the winter dolls, like, I think the violet one, it looks like the quality is there. I don't know about the designs. I think the designs are kind of questionable. I'm not sure. 
especially the Skylar. Have you guys seen the leak for that Skylar in like a puffy, but then mermaid? It's interesting, but yeah, I guess that's where I'm gonna leave it. There's potential. I could still collect these dolls, maybe. Um, it depends on the character. It depends on how they execute it and stuff like that. But for right now, I think I'm just gonna be an outside observer, but I am hopeful that eventually I'll be able to jump back into collecting new Rainbow High dolls. So that's it for this. Um, I'd love to know what you all think about like the new Rainbow High series, if you were able to see it or uh, how you feel about the new dolls. Do you see any potential or do you still like completely hate it? Or like, have you been a fan of the reboot since the beginning? I'd love to know because I think I don't know, Rainbow High is something I love to talk about, so I'd love to talk about it with all of you in the comments below. But that is it for this part. So in the description below, as always, um, you can find my Instagram. It's his.dolls on Instagram, and that's where I love to post photos of my doll collection. I've been trying to get back into that. Um, I really enjoy doing it. It's just finding the time to take the photos, honestly. Uh, so... Yeah, and then also, um, I've been doing a gaming... How do I want to say? I've started a sim series here on this channel. I think I'm only like episode six ish, somewhere around there. I think that's the last episode that went up. Um, I've been working on this new uh, sim series, but it's still doll related because it's called the Barbie Legacy. And every generation I play as like uh, someone in the family, but a new Barbie and it's like a new theme and everything. And I've really been enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun. So if you enjoy gaming content or if you just enjoy doll content and want to check it out, I do highly suggest it. I really enjoy it. But that is about it for this one. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.